Hey folks, I do see him here playing some more Dark Souls 2 on the PC. So we are in the Shrine of Amana. Uh, I died doing something stupid here last time, which was just running off uh, the edge here. Not like that, but kind of similar. I was trying to approach the door that's over there, and again, I'm having trouble seeing where the hell it is I'm supposed to go. Here we go. Do one of these and one of those. I was trying to approach that door, and then I fell off the edge right there. Uh, so let's not do that again. Instead, we'll open the door. It's got some cool flower symbolism. Interesting. And we'll see if this is a new area or what the hell's going on. What the hell is Amana? And why does she or he get a shrine? Liar head, therefore, keep moving. Okay. Bonfire head, in short, praise the sun. I don't know what those words mean before I go anywhere. Hold back. That's what she said. Illusionary wall. Maybe. I wish the messages were in here, because they uh, kind of get in the way when I'm trying. I'm checking all the walls for illusionary walls. Or is it illusory? I'm not sure. The right tenses. Okay. Let's read some of these. Uh, this place again. Try jumping. Thanks. Alright, now that everyone's build been so helpful. So we're going further down. We were at the castle. We went down to get to the Shrine of Amana. Then from the Shrine of Mana, we're going further down to uh, somewhere. Um, I, by the way, last episode got some good lore. I came upon some revelations that uh, the great souls that we got, the four great souls, except for the one from Duke's Tear Freya, which I don't know, I didn't get a soul from it. I got one, two, three souls here, so I'm not sure what went wrong there. Uh, but the three great souls that we got are from, I think, our resurrected souls of Gwyn, um, the Witch of Izalith, possibly Seath, and I think Duke Steer Freyha is, yeah, I think Duke Steer Freyha is Seath, there's the Witch of Izalith, there's Gwyn, and who the hell else there is there? Oh, Nido, the Rotten, is Nido, Ned Crypt, okay. So that's kind of a big revelation there. Is there a bonfire somewhere? Maybe under here? No, oh, there's a skeleton with an item. Radiant life jump times one. Are you a secret door? No. Are you an illusionary wall? Just... Oh wait, can I see through there? There is a bonfire. It's... I can see it in there. See? And I can hear it burning. And now the question is, how do I get in there? My halberd can clip through the wall and get in there. How do I get in there? Why is there a... Oh. Okay. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I thought there'd be an illusionary wall, or I'd have to fight something, or uh, there'd be some kind of switch and puzzle thing going on, but nope. Just walk right in. Uh, I don't like the looks of this. Seems like these things should break open and stuff pop out. I know this game isn't supposed to be a horror game, but I expect stuff to pop out at me occasionally. Now, I'm just going to shoot this guy right in the face. Because it's easier than any other alternative. Um, is that a torch? It looks like it could be a torch. Uh, let's do it. Screw it. Bonfire is right here. Easy to get to. Light my torch. I've got two hours and twenty minutes of torch light. Try torch. Thank you. So why not? Unless this isn't a torch. That's kind of cool. I have to admit. So that's like pitch or something and then as I roll through it I set it on fire somehow it didn't get hurt or to hurt myself that was fun I was hoping to be able to light crap on fire but I guess not all right are you good or bad I imagine you're bad because you're casting crap at me oh shit uh, behind the pillar shit again Fantastic crap.
Looks like that would hurt a lot. So let's not. And say we did. There we go. Perfect. And lots of souls. And I just hmm, hit my foot a little bit, which sucks because I either broke it or sprained it. Actually, I don't think I broke it, but um, I definitely sprained it. I can't put any weight on it. I had gone to get x-rays and didn't show a break in the x-rays. But it also doesn't mean that it's... It could be a, like, micro fracture. Shit, there's two of them in there. And they're angry. How do I get them to stop? They really don't want to stop. Charge some stamina. Good. Okay. I heard some moaning. She tells me that there's something somewhere. It'd be nice if I could see. I'm just randomly firing arrows. I'm guessing there's more guys in here. Right in short ambush. Okay, so maybe there's a guy to the right. Trio there for a range battle, okay. These guys at least aren't too bad. Triclops snake t trouches. What the hell is a trouch? Key to the embedded. Oh, that's interesting. It's a sword and a key. I know who the embedded is. Uh, because we passed them, so I'll have to go back. Hmm, interesting. What the hell? I still don't know what the hell a trouch is, so... I'll have to figure that out eventually. I don't think it's any of those. Maybe it's something here. Screw it. We got an item. I have absolutely no idea what that item is. This thing will light on fire. Oh, poop. Nope. Let's not get hit. I thought I was safe behind these columns. Not overly well. That's really annoying. I'm not looking forward to having to repeat this at any point. I should do is buy more poison arrows because at least. Alright, I'm gonna wait for her to cast and then just run the hell at her. Oh, are you shitting me? Not only do those things track. Not only. Oh, shit. Where'd you come from? I'm not sure which one of them, which one of those two poisoned me. Prisoner's Hood, I know, is an item. <laughs> Simple and Spice and Dark Quartz plus two is good, I guess. And so not only do those things track me, and I don't think I can light these on fire, but I could probably explode them with fire arrows and maybe kill some of these guys a bit more easily that way. Aha! There we go. That's nice to, to know. Um, so, anyways, as I was saying... Not only do those things track me, but I can't easily run up there. And that is a pain in the butt. Stay calm. Okay. I guess I could use that area to not get hit by the person there. And then maybe use that area to avoid some damage. Good. Uh, good information. Uh, I do need to remember to buy more arrows from everywhere. Lunar torch, don't you dare. Okay. Be wary of message. Okay. Don't you dare. So either there's a guy with a torch, or I shouldn't dare light a torch, or I shouldn't listen to the messages and make sure to light a torch in case they're trying to deceive me. So there's a lot of options here. I hear something, but I don't see anything. Hold. Oh, shit. Okay. Human. 
<laughs> do not produce light. Okay. Light and all those who bear it are unwelcome in this place. Fair enough. So maybe that's what the warnings were about. <laughs> Can I talk to you? Uh, I wonder if that aggro's them. Are you the guy that talks? Who talks? You must be the guy who talks. I am Agdain, guardian of the crypt. Countless dead rest here in peace, cradled by the comfort of dark. Light only agitates. We have no need for it here. I am a finito. We weave death and watch over the dead. This task was granted to me by the one who gave us the first death. Hmm. Countless souls rest here. Some of them from ages long ago. I wonder ago. if he's talking about Nito. Some are rich, others poor. Some wise, some dull, but now... They're all just dead. Alright. So he said he's a finito. That's kind of obvious. The ladies singing to the dead in the Shrine of Amana were Milfinitos. Uh, so they're hot moms and they're nitos. So that's kind of interesting. I'm assuming that because he said he was created by one who gave the first death and Nito was Lord of the Dead. So I'm assuming he must have been the first one to kill something or be killed by something. Did you come for him? The one called Fendrick. You will find him deeper inside. Many castle servants and the like have come to fetch their lord. But they rest here now, put to death by the king's own guards. Interesting. Perhaps he's not in the mood for company. So either he doesn't want to leave, or uh, the queen is keeping him here because she wants us to become kings. Past, Humans were one with the dark. The former king of light, he feared humans. Feared that they would usher in an age of dark. It's gotta be Quinn, right? How queer are you humans? How you go on? Never separating truth from fiction. I'm not sure what he means by that. This place is welcome to all, provided due reverence is shown. Doesn't seem welcome by the guys who attacked Death me in the beginning. Equitable, accepting. We will all one day be welcomed by her embrace. Tell me what you desire. Show me reverence, and I will lend you my hand. Uh, okay. Interesting. So he's a merchant. More importantly, uh, have mercy. He reveres death, and he's kind of blue, and he looks reminds me a lot of Thanos. Uh, so, interesting. Shield of the Insolent. It looks like it has bad physical defense, but good defense for other stuff. Uh, insolent Helm. Doesn't look that great. Let's actually, this might be interesting. The shield. Stamina recovery. Okay, the shield. Formerly high ranking clerics. Facts of a blood. Singer still with it, and the shield recovers one stamina. That's interesting. No, I want to get the description. Once proud clerics relics of a party who long ago attempted to conquer the undead crypt. For this sin, their deaths have been postponed, so they may serve as crypt sentries. So I wonder if those are the guys casting the hexes at us in the beginning there. The armor worn by once proud clerics. Yeah, okay, so that's probably going to be all the same. What's this? Ring of Thorns. Encounter attacks when damage is taken. How does that work? Ring granted protection by Kremel, God of Struggle. The ring's spikes drive into the wearer's skin so that each blow taken fuels spite towards the perpetrator. When damage is taken, the re ring retaliates and inflicts damage upon enemy. So I guess as I t take damage, my opponent takes damage, but it's not. doesn't seem useful, and I don't want to spend all my souls on it. Dark Arrow, on the other hand, might seem useful, and I might spend a bunch of souls on that. Thirteen humanities, holy shite. Uh, human effigy, sorry. Um, but that's really good. They're expensive, but good. 
Large gradual restoration of HP is okay, it's expensive. And a pyromancy here, warmth. What does this do? Byron preserved only in the undead curb creates a gentle warm flame that heals those who touch it. Show strength, but it is also a symbol. Wisdom and comfort. Fires. Um, I should probably buy it. But. Oh, what the hell. Yes. And I will buy just a ton of these. Screw it. Yeah. I am a finito. This task was granted countless souls. Some were rich. Okay. In the past, before. Huh? All right. So he just repeats all his dialogue. So in path ahead, therefore, try torch. No, I think you're trying to trick me. I have a feeling that these guys would attack me if I lit a torch. But because I don't light a torch, they don't attack me. Was that friend ahead? Therefore, try dashing throw. Huh. I feel like I still will get attacked eventually. But it might be a while. Be wary of right. Why do people put up torches? Didn't you hear what that guy said? Can't see what the hell's over there. Well, there's nothing on the left. So. Might as well. Come on. You're gonna attack me eventually, anyways. I aggroed you. You are now fully aggroed. Oh, it's the King's Knights, I see. It's these guys. Oh, come on. Do your attack. Don't do your lightning attack, because I don't have room to maneuver, but do your other attacks. Don't do three attacks like that. Because I also don't have... Alright. I, I did a terrible job of fighting that guy. Let's see if I can do a better job fighting this guy. Maybe I can backstab him. Unless he knocks me off the ledge. There we go. That's all I wanted. Actually, it would have been nice if he dropped something awesome too, but... Uh, that could almost be mistaken for a ladder. It is a ladder. Mm, but it goes down very far. I feel like if I try to... It might actually just go down until I die. And I'm guessing the undead sound effects... I can't see it. A lot, but I'm guessing the sound effects are from undead that are somewhere below, I hope. Boss, not here. Is it really? Because that would be awesome. Try jumping in a torch. No! Stop trying to tell me to jump. Actually, that looks like I can make it down there. Hmm. So I have a choice. Jump down there. There's an item down there. Cool, looks like I could have actually jumped down there, too. Or do whatever this is. Ah! I don't know. 50 50. Is this a boss? No. Good. More fire. Alright. Uh, why is there all this fire? Didn't you guys heed the warnings? Now, screw it. Let's try jumping. Or, not jumping, but a controlled fall. Down and see what's down here. Okay. Uh, there is a staircase. And a lot of text and then there's stuff here and a treasure chest and a ladder not a mimic hopefully not trapped soul vessel excellent I'm slowly acquiring a whole bunch of those and those let me reallocate my uh, levels or XP or whatever you want to call it uh, to whatever I want to do like a dream Try torching and fire. I probably shouldn't. That'll probably piss them off. Or just few. But I have no idea what that is. I can't do anything by touching it. I probably do need to light it on fire. But I bet that will anger everyone. And I want to use that guy as a merchant for at least a while longer. So we're going to avoid using a torch for now. See if this brings us back to that other room, maybe. Or somewhere. 
Soul of a Hero. Again, what's with all the lights? People told us you didn't want lights. Oh, nice bonfire. Try jumping. Hopefully the bonfire isn't going to piss off. Be wary of confidence and short try death. Okay. There's an item. There's what looks like a torch that I could light, but again, I think that'll piss off people. Simpleton splice, black fire bomb, and these guys spawn. Okay. I'm assuming more of these guys will spawn. I wonder... Because I can br break these gravestones, I wonder if it's... If I break a gravestone, they spawn. Or if I don't break a gravestone, they spawn. The nice thing is... Prisoner's Waste Closet. It seems like I could farm this for a long while and just collect souls. But it's not a lot of souls. It's 150. I guess if I get items to improve that, but... I guess I could get items, but the items don't seem very good. I wonder if I touch this, what happens to the gravestone? Nope, still broken. Yeah, Burlock. Okay, I know. You're not going to summon you. Alright. So that's interesting. Alright. Another one appeared, and this is where I came from originally. No, this is a different area. Shit. I guess I have to break some gravestones. Uh, let's run up here for a sec, and maybe these guys will come up. Hopefully. Oh, I'm probably getting. Yep. Cast on by somebody. Oh, she's casting at me. What the hell are you? Don't cast at me. And somebody's using fire spells and a nameless usurper and whatever the hell that is. Shit. Who the hell is casting? Ugh. The hell? I shouldn't have run in here. Shit. Okay, so not good. I don't like this area. Uh, again, I'm curious if these guys spawn infinitely or if they stop spawning after uh, the good old 10 break. I mean, I'm gonna, I don't know, I probably shouldn't run back to my jewel every time my ring breaks, but I am. So there. Seeing how I have I'll at least around, one other Mr. ring, and then I have the second ring, which stops petrification but costs more. And then I could buy another anti-petrification ring if I really want. So I have options, but whatever. All right, let's try to make it through here. So, oh, the gravestone's back. He does spawn. Now here's the question. If I don't break the stone, does he only spawn once? Or does he spawn infinitely anyways? Nope, seems to spawn infinitely anyways. So breaking gravestones doesn't seem to make a difference. Okay, it's fine. Now, let's, oh shit. Okay, so these guys come out of those things. Got it. I hope it's not infinite. Shit. Alright, at least that doesn't seem to be an infinite thing. Yes, it is. Shit. 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 Okay. I'm learning. Now, I don't think lighting the fires would, lighting fire here would help me. How the hell do I do this? I think I just kill them and slowly move on. 
All right, so I'm not running back to Majula just yet. I'll break two of these before I do. I think maybe that's all I have to do is... All right, you're gonna spawn. And I'm gonna kill you to the best of my abilities. And then maybe I can actually destroy this thing. Just out of spite. This one has a sword, which isn't as bad, unfortunately. Still hits me. All right, I'm kind of trapped in here with this guy, and hopefully that doesn't keep spawning, but I think it will. So I think I kind of got to move. Maybe, maybe not. I destroyed that thing, and it didn't respawn. This guy respawns. So I think some of these undead, the basic undeads, respawn anyways. But I think those guys don't respawn if I destroy their monuments. So I just gotta kinda stay away from that a little bit. This is where I came in from, I believe. And it has those two knights there. Okay, that's fine. Okay. You, sir, are very quick, and I have very low stamina because of you. Shit! If I move away, he starts casting fire. Alright, kill you first. Get some stamina back. No, don't do any... Don't do anything like that. Or whatever else you were thinking of doing. Let's let's kill you before you can kill me. Shit, I need to destroy that thing quickly. Good. Now I think it stops respawning. I hope my theory is correct. I'm going to use a life gem rather than Nesta's Flask, and I will have to buy more life gems later. Okay, they do stop. But that guy doesn't, but that's fine. I'm already used to fighting those guys. Titan Knight Chunk, Petrified Dragon Bone. Play Dead Skeleton, not helpful. Up! Okay, up sounds like a good plan. Let's get the hell out of here. I don't like it down there. It's nasty. Are you. Nope! Nope! You're one of those. You're the one that was casting on me before. Hopefully, you can't hit me. Maybe I can hit you. No? What happened to you? I don't know where she went. How did you... Did you learn how to climb ladders? Who taught you? Okay. Well, we'll deal with that in a sec. She was a finito too. But not a milfinito. So that tells us that finitos can be... Dried fingers, bonfire aesthetic, twinkling titanite. Is twinkling titanite's really good? Dried aesthetic, I don't know. I don't want to go down there. <laughs> it's bad times down there. Yeah, bad times indeed. If I can destroy those things at least, that'll make my life easier. So I wonder if I can destroy that with iron arrows. Uh, where the hell are my iron arrows? There they are. Let's use another life gem. And I will buy more life gems eventually right now I don't think I can destroy that with iron arrows damn that sucks all right now the hell is she I can't see her there she is can I just shoot you with regular arrows please tell me that's a thing all right what about this I set you on fire. Okay, that helps. Don't have crap here, okay. Oh, this is the, no, this isn't the ladder. I don't know how I, what, yeah, it is. Isn't it? No, 
Okay, that skeleton is just dead for whatever reason. Um, but this is where I was. And if I want, I could destroy that thing. Now, in theory, those statues don't respawn or unless I leave the area. So if I destroy this, uh, this guy stops. This guy stops with his bullshit. If I can destroy this thing. Ah, oh, damn it. I need to destroy this thing. And then I can cure you of your bullshit. And then I could fight off this guy that's gonna show up anyways. I mean, this is an okay place to farm for souls, I think. Uh, okay, okay, stop. Jeez. I mean, I'm basically forced to run in here to get these guys to stop spawning and following me. Oh, and I get invaded. Okay, let's run in here. So the last time I was dealing with all this, this time at least seems to be a little less. Okay, there you are. And I got a backstab in somehow. It's fine. Okay, good. Sorry about the lack of commentary there. Just focusing my attention on killing a nameless usurper. Divine blessing, soul of a hero. Whoa! Shit. Seriously? On top of everything else? Ghosts? At least it looks like these ones don't come out of the wall. I bet there's ghosts. Illusion ahead. Hidden path ahead. Illusion impossible. Okay, let's find out if any of these are... Well, for once, usually when there's more than one message, it's a good indicator that... Oh, that there's a ghost in the wall! Damn. Horse? That's a good question. Ah, chest. Shit! Wall ghosts. They're the worst kind. Don't be a trap, please. Avalon and a heavy bolt. Times 15. I don't know what the hell an Avalon is, but I got one. Okay. I bet there's a ghost here, and that's why. I... Yep, that's why the message is there to lure unsuspecting folks in. Why do I rate these up? I don't, I don't know. Come on, bond fiber. <laughs> Good, thanks. Thanks for that. Left and then right. Uh, as if that's not bad enough. Oh, I see. I see. Probably. Nope. This weapon is not very good for these kinds of situations. You... No. Nope. You're not there, ghost. Are you here? I'm trying to lure any ghosts out. So... Just to get it over with, are you in here? Iron, short, illusionary wall, no, I'm sure there isn't, but... But I am sure that there are ghosts. I hope I find a bonfire soon, because I don't want to do this part over again. Ghosts. I know there's a ghost. The other thing is, I can't go back to Majula without resetting all the tombstones that I've meticulously killed. So... If I die, I have to use my other ring. Oh, interesting. What the fuck are you? Looks like you're just two really well-shielded knights. How the hell do I kill you? No. No, whatever you're thinking. No, go back to whatever you were doing. Or at least come find me in this room. Can they even go in here? Yeah, apparently they can. Okay. Maybe I can fight him in this room. First things first. Let's do one of those. Uh, wow. That hurts him well, but not enough to kill him. The nice thing is they seem relatively slow. I'm 
unless that happens. Shit. I didn't know they could do two. You guys are a pain in the ass. I'm guessing you're more of Gwyn's knights and not undead. Good. I beat you to it. I can fight him. Imperial Imperius leggings. Should have dropped some shields. God damn it. <laughs> so the good news is I have a ton of souls, can repair my rings and all that. The bad news is... Uh, what the hell? That's scary. The skeleton in the middle of the room, which worries me. The bad news is if I die, I have to use my other ring. And then I don't know what to do. Whoa! Be wary almost... I don't know. That was just terrible mistake of almost walking in there which in retrospect I might have to because I see that I can drop in there and there is an item oh, I don't want to damn it don't tell me it brings me back to where I was please okay I have to smash those things Okay, I have to smash these gravestones so I can quickly run in and smash that statue before the guy spawns. Or even if the guy spawns. But I smash the statue anyways. Blue flame. Okay. That's kind of cool. Shit! Shit! What the hell happened? Run! Shit! Can I not get out of here? Shit. Okay, I have no idea what the fuck happened, but I'm gonna die. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Maybe the answer is not to antagonize the undead and leave him be. Oh, man. Alright, well, we're gonna switch out. I don't want to leave, because if my theory is correct, uh... I don't at least have to fight all the way through everything because the gravestones that I had smashed previously stay smashed. So, uh, I am going to put a break in this video though, but when we come back I'm going to uh, see if I can make it a little bit further and see what happens. Until then, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Hit subscri subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And as always, my name is Adusium. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys. You guys, next time. Let's find a new... Let's switch out righty hold for... Have mercy. Alright. <laughs> Later.